Hey, good morning again. Welcome. I hope you have a taken a deep breath and you've got your Bible and you're ready for a brand new day. Today, Luke chapter 6, verse 46 to 49, we'll finish out the chapter. But why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do the things which I say? Whoever comes to me and hears my sayings and does them, I will show you whom he is like. He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation on the rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently against that house and could not shake it, for it was founded on the rock. But he who heard and did nothing is like a man who built a house on the earth without a foundation, against which the stream beat vehemently, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. So here's the difference between hearing and doing. And many come every every Sunday, every Sabbath, every Saturday. They come to church and they hear, and they hear, but they don't do. And sometimes it starts with the preacher. Sometimes the preacher talks beautifully, and then he doesn't do what he's talking about. And we're kind of doing, dealing with some hypocrisy in parts of this chapter. There's, there's some of that to go around. But listen, the warning from our Lord Jesus is, if you're going to call me Lord, then do what I teach you. It's, it's kind of simple. If you're going to call me Lord, then do what I teach you. And the, the, then we have this, this picture that is put there of a, of a house that's built on a firm foundation. And, and the storm comes. Did you notice the storm comes to either of the houses in the illustration? A, a, a very great storm comes. And then one house is able to withstand the storm because the character has been transformed by Jesus the other house is not able to stand because it's like a bad character. It's like a character with rotten foundation. It doesn't have actually any serious foundation. And so when there is a storm, immediately it falls. And so many times we've fallen in our lives. We've made our mistakes and we have really fouled things up. Why? Because we weren't walking close with God many of those times. And we didn't hadn't really put the time in, put our heart into it and really had Jesus transforming our character. So let me just suggest to you, and I'm preaching to myself, we need to let God come in and come in deep and do a stronger work in changing who and what we are so that we can be more like Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be more like Jesus. Uh, perhaps people are getting tired of hearing that as we go through the Gospels here, but Lord, that's exactly what we want. Uh, please transform us. Help us so that we are like a firm, a house built on a firm foundation. And may you receive all the glory, Lord, all of it, every shred of it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, friend, God bless you. And you build your foundation on the rock, Jesus Christ.